What's up guys, Papa Games here, and uh, today I'm going to show you how I'm overclocking the uh, Ryzen 1700X on the Asus ROG Strix uh, X370-F motherboard, and uh, this isn't going to be the biggest, craziest overclock you've seen, um, but it's really rock solid. Uh, with the RAM that I have, which is uh, the G Skill Trident Z RGB uh, 3000 megahertz, and uh, all the RGB stuff does work on it. It's a 16 CL kit, and uh, so what you want to do is come into your AI tweaker and your AI overclock tuner. You want to have that set the default. I've tried all the DOCP profiles and uh, didn't have any luck with them it seemed like they were gonna work and then you know I could get it to boot and everything and at 3000 uh, megahertz with the correct timings and voltage and all that but um, you know somewhere along the way of benchmarking a game or playing a game or rendering in Vegas or something like that it would crash out on me so uh, with this, it's been really solid. I haven't had any trouble. So, uh, the memory frequency I have set to 2933, and you want to set your uh, computer core ratio. It says uh, auto, and then just change it right here where it says core ratio, and uh, you can hit plus or minus to change that up to what you want to, and you'll see your target computer speed move up here. Uh, I got it set at 3.9 if you guys want to follow along and set yours there there's really not a whole lot of settings here I tried to keep it as simple as possible so uh, I did nothing in the digi plus VRM uh, for the manual or you want to set your uh, voltage on manual for your VDD CR CPU voltage and set that to 1.41 and hit enter and it'll put in the 250 for you there set your uh, VDD uh, CR SLC voltage to 1.2 uh, also you have to put that on manual and set your uh, DRAM voltage to 1.35 if you know that's what your set requires uh, if you get the same kit I got then that's what it needs to be on and uh, that's all I've changed here guys like I said nothing in the digi plus VRM and uh, the temperatures are really good uh, this is on a Corsair H100i uh, version 2 so um, you know I'm not for sure how this will work on air but uh, this definitely works good for a, a dual fan radiator setup so all right, I'm going to take you guys back over to the uh, to the desktop now, and I'll do some uh, desktop recording 